the next major smartphone breakthrough may be just around the corner and Australian scientists could be the ones who unlock it. Professor Chinopati Jagadish is one of the scientists working on holographic displays. He's a world leader in understanding light and nano lasers. It's worlds away from the Indian rural village he grew up in without any electricity. The magic of science illuminated the world of a young Chenopati Jagadish decades ago. When I was a child and I had very little amount of light because as you know that the kerosene lamp really gives you very little amount of light but now that's why I've always uh, been keen on really trying to develop light-based technologies. With the help of mentors, Jagadish became the first person in his family to leave his hometown of Valurapalam and attend university. He migrated to Australia with his wife Vidya and young daughter in 1990 and is now one of the country's leading physicists. It's the most satisfying thing is to be able to really make the difference to others. Otherwise, developing technologies which are helping dementia patients, helping in terms of fast communications, developing solar cells which are uh, more efficient and flexible. This is called as a reaction cell. It's a quartz chamber. But it's his work engineering at the atomic scale that's creating the biggest buzz. And nano reactors like this, which create tiny structures by printing one atomic layer at a time. So thereby we can make more high performance devices like high performance lasers, mm -hmm. smallest lasers in the world we can make now. I can put about 10 lasers which are next to each other yeah. within the width of your hair, for example. Well, from lasers to nanotechnology, Professor Jack Jagadish is literally helping engineer the future. He's now turned his attention to revolutionising the way we use our mobile phones. And it's all got to do with what you see in this black glass. And we'll be able to arrange these lasers in such a way such that either you can make a concave shape of this light coming out, a wave front, which we call it, otherwise a convex way, so thereby the image could be protected inside or outside. The ANU team is working with five other Australian universities on the mobile hologram project. They've been given $35 million by the Australian Research Council to turn the science of today into the technology of tomorrow. So that people can see the three-dimensional holograms of their family members and when I mean, they're talking to each other and that really gives a feeling of virtual reality. It's often said science is a way of thinking more than a body of knowledge, a key lesson the professor wants to pass on. Jagdish finds happiness when he sees his student leading the world. So much so, he and his wife Vidya, who's also a scientist, established a fund to help students from developing countries study in Australia. Enormous potential is there. You know, they are still young, they can pick up so many things. It will open doors for them. So the most important thing is to really make young people to believe in themselves. If they don't believe in themselves, nobody's going to believe them. Keeping the light bright for the next generation. Darren Mara, SBS World News.